Hey, what's up guys? I'm Johnny and today I'll be doing a review on the Hoodoo Sports Tempest 120P kayak. I pre-ordered the kayak a few months ago and I received it about two and a half weeks ago. And I got a chance to test it out a few times this past week. This is not a sponsored video. I was not paid to do this review. Um, I purchased this kayak with my own money. I will go over all the options and accessories that come standard with this kayak when you purchase it. I will also share some of the accessories that I added to the kayak. Wondering if this is a good buy? Stay tuned and find out. I'll start with the front and then I'll work my way towards the back. Uh, up front here, you get a drain plug. It's the only drain plug on the kayak. You only get one in the front, not in the back. You get a standard handle with a nylon strap. Um, this, if this ever breaks, you can remove this bracket and replace the handle or replace it to, to get a better one, but that's an option. Um, you get the front hatch, a good size hatch. You get two locks, which operate pretty good. Uh, no complaints there. Um, hatch opening. Uh, one thing I don't like about the hatch when the pedal drive is up is that you cannot access the hatch. I mean, you can get inside, but you can't really open it fully. Um, so you'll have to remove the pedal system in order to get to the front hatch. Uh, moving on down, we have the two locks for the pedal drive system. You get one on each side, okay? And then there's a third one here for when the prop is down. Um, once it's uh, in the water, you basically just, you know, pull this down to keep it in place. Uh, the kayak has eight scupper plugs. Um, you get eight here in the front, and then you get two in the back. Um, you also have foam padding here on the left and right sides. So if you want to stand, it's non-slip. You know, you get a good grip when standing up. Very stable. It's about 30 inches wide. I personally wouldn't stand when it's rough waters, but, um, you know, when it was calm, I was standing up fishing. I was sitting on this guy for about six, seven hours. Each time I went out, I went out twice so far already. And uh, it does get tiring sitting down. That's for all kayaks when you're sitting. So I was able to stand up and stretch out, no issues. You also receive the center, uh, center console. It has a cup holder here, uh, extra storage on the sides. And this is basically where the pedal system will rest um, when it's not in the water. Um, and then if you wanted to put it in the water, it's simple, you basically just Remove the bungee cords here, lift the pedal drive, move this off to the side, and then drop your system in the water. Now, I don't have enough clearance to lock the back lock here. It's already touching the grass, uh, but you guys get the point. So, and then when you don't want to use it, you basically just lift it up. Make sure the prop is aligned. Lift it all the way out. Install the center console, and then tie it down with the bungees here, and then rest the pedal drive. Now, as far as the pedal system, I'm not sure if this is version one or version two. If you look here, this design here is different uh, from the one that's listed on the website. And this pedal system actually has a mount on top. There's uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 threaded holes on the top of this pedal system. I'm not sure what they're for. On the Hoodoo website, um, you don't see this pedal system. So I don't know if this is an upgrade. I don't know if it's a downgrade. You can probably mount some accessories to this uh, pedal system. The pedal shafts are on the longer side uh, compared to my top order 120 PDL. They're about two inches longer um, and I'm not sure why that is. I'm 6'1". I don't have any problems uh, using it but my buddy who was using the kayak last weekend I think he's about 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and um, he had to sit closer to the pedal system in order to actually uh, get this thing to work properly. One of his complaints was that his knees were too close to his chest uh, when he was pedaling. So, like I said, for me, it wasn't an issue. For a 5'9 guy, 5'10 guy, um, you might have some issues pedaling. The straps that came on here, horrible. Uh, don't use them. If, if you're the type that likes to use the pedal drive system barefoot, remove the straps or flip it around and use the bare side because once you slip your foot inside, it irritates, it rubs against your foot, uh, and then once sand gets in there, it's over. It's just, just irritation all day long. All right, moving a little bit down, you get two kayak handles, one on each side. You have your seat, um, very comfortable seat. And basically adjust the backrest with these two straps on the sides. You know, if, 
you want to lean back a little bit more, you can. If you want to bring it forward, you just basically pull on the straps and then um, that's how you adjust the seat. Rudder control is here. Very smooth, no issues with the rudder control. You know, left and right, um, you know, it is what it is. Basic turning. All right, the kayak does come with two anchor trolleys, one on the left and right side, which is pretty cool because the kayaks I owned in the past um, usually don't come with an anchor trolley, or if it did, it's only one. So to have two, one on each side, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, moving on to the back. You get two rod holders in the back uh, with covers. Uh, I don't really care for the covers. They're always off anyways. Then you have the center storage, which is a, a decent amount of space. A lot of space in here to hold all whatever tackle you need. Snacks, water, food, you know, you just house it inside here. I even thought about putting some ice inside of here and keep some drinks cold. I do love the fact that it has this lip all around the uh, rear hatch um, to prevent water from getting inside, so that's pretty cool. And then the cover just basically goes on top and then you secure the hatch um, with the bungee cord. Moving to the back, uh, decent amount of space back here behind the seat uh, for a cooler or a bait tank. You do get a rear storage hatch. Um, I don't use this hatch. I don't have any plans for it, but what I did decide to do was um, put all the extra screws and Allen wrenches and also the prop pin um, inside a plastic container. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it back here just in case something happens while I'm out fishing. You know, I'll have access some, to some basic tools to at least get something repaired if something was to go out. You also have the top mounted uh, rudder mount. Uh, this is the top view of where the rudder is located. The rudder is actually on the bottom on this model. There's also a handle in the rear as well. Very sturdy, uh, no complaints with that. You do receive the kayak mold with the option to install a rudder on top. Uh, I don't know if Hoodoo Sports sells a kit uh, to get a top mounted rudder system. I would prefer a top mounted rudder system. I just think they um, maneuver much better than a bottom mount. This does take some time to turn. Um, and I have a Topwater 120 PDL that has the top mounted rudder system and the rudder is about two feet long and that thing just turns on a dime. Uh, this one does take some time to turn. Um, I'll have to research to see if there's an option to add a top mounted um, rudder. All right guys, as far as dislikes, I dislike the fact that this storage hatch is dead center in the back of this uh, kayak. Um, I understand why it's here, because the rudder system and all the cabling is running through and they needed a way to actually feed the wires through because there's no other access point um, on this kayak. I get that, I mean, it makes sense, um, but it makes it awkward when you're trying to set a crate here or a bait tank and it's, it's rocking because it's not on a flat surface. I wish they could do something else. Uh, maybe on a revision uh, and not have this here. That way, whatever you put back here is stable and it's not rocky. Now, another dislike is the Tempest 120P logo here. And the reason why I dislike it is because it's a surface mounted sticker. Um, it's an adhesive, as you can see right now, I'm pulling up on the T. And the reason why I'm giving this such a, a bad, bad review is because if you come to the other side, you'll notice that the wording is completely gone. Nothing here. And that's because when I received this in shipping, a few of the letters um, got stuck to the bubble wrap and cardboard. So as I was removing the packaging, some of the letters ripped off um, on it as well. And so I decided just to peel them off on this side. So that's why this side is bare. All right, guys. I also noticed that behind the seat, right behind this rear hatch, there's these molded in sections here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see that. Um, I don't know what they're for. I can't find any information on it. So if anybody out there has an idea of what these could be used for, please drop a comment below. I did lay my paddle across and it fits perfectly. So I don't know if this is for some type of stabilizer bar or a boondocks uh, system can fit in here. I'm interested to know what this could be utilized for. So if anybody has any idea, um, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Um, I'm still going to research and if I find out any information, I'll let you guys know. All right, guys. So I added a few accessories to the kayak. Not many, um, it's just what I had left over laying around in the garage. Um, I added two Yak Attack six inch uh, slide mounts, uh, one here and one on the left side with two Scotty mount rod holders. Um, and then on the right side of the seat, I also added the slide track with a ram mount, ram extension connected to another ram mount and then the fish finder. You know, that way when I'm sitting on the seat, I can 
have the fish finder a little bit in front of me instead of to the side. For the fish finder transducer, I decided to go with the Lowrance scupper hole adapter. Instead of having a control arm hanging off the side of the kayak, I wanted something a little bit more clean looking, so I went with the Lowrance scupper uh, transducer mount. And it worked out really well. The transducer is recessed inside the uh, kayak, um, so there's no chance of it getting scratched. Couldn't be any more happier. All right, guys, there goes my review for $11.99. This is one hell of a kayak. You won't find an affordable 12-foot pedal kayak at this price point. So my recommendation, if you can, go out, make a purchase. You won't be disappointed. Until next time, I'm out. Yeah!